Okay, so we're back, and in this lesson, um, we're going to look at two ratios here. There's one, 6 to 5, and over here is x to 20. The x is an unknown part. We don't really know what's going on there. And we are told that these two relationships, these two ratios, are in proportion to one another. So this is how you solve it. You start by writing the first ratio as a, um, as a fraction. So here we go. 6 over 5. What you do is you put an equal sign between the two, and then you write the next one as x over 20. In this lesson, we're not really going to talk about how to find out what x is, because uh, there is a way to do that. We're just going to show you how to set this thing up, and this is all I want you to be able to know how to do in this lesson. You're going to get a quiz on this, so I uh, just want to show you how to set it up. I'm going to give you another question. Okay, this is an example. The ratio of height to base of a skateboard ramp is 2 to 3. Well, before we do anything else, let's quickly draw that. So here's a skateboard ramp. I'm not very good at drawing it, but here it is. Um, looks more like a triangle. Anyway, it says the ratio of height to the base. Well, height is right here. We're going to call that 2 because that's the first number in our ratio. The base is at the bottom here, and it says that is 3. So there we go. Now let's keep reading. If the height of the ramp is changed to 4.5 meters, what proportion could be used to determine the base? Well, here's how you solve this. You start by writing the first ratio, 2 over 3 is a fraction. Then you put your equal sign, just like in the first part. And then you decide, where does this 4.5 go? Should it go on the top or the bottom? Well, it said if the height of the ramp is 4.5. Well, do you remember on this side, where was height? Was it the 2 or was it the 3? Well, we look over here. Height was the 2. So you're going to, when you set these things up, you're going to keep height on top. And you're going to keep the base on the bottom. You've got to keep things the same on the top and the bottom. So you're going to put the 4.5 right there because we know that the height of the new uh, ramp would be 4.5. We don't know what the base is going to be. We have just set up our proportion. We're going to solve it in the next lesson, but for now, I just want to make sure you know how to set this thing up. And that is how you set it up. Okay, let's do one more example. And here it is. We've got a triangle here, and it has the sides measured 5, 4, and 3. Um, let's say you wanted to do a new triangle, but you wanted the height of your new triangle to be, I don't know, uh, let's say 18. That could be centimeters or meters. We don't really know it. They never told us. And then, so let's say the question said, if we made the height 18, of our new triangle, what would the base be? Remember, height is right here and base is right here. So let's set this up. We're talking about height and base again, just like the skateboard ramp. So remember, you start by writing what you know and do it as a fraction. 3 is the height, 4 is the base, and that equals the new triangle is going to have 18 as the height. Do you remember where that goes? Well, the 18 is the height, so it's going to go on top. And on the bottom, we have no idea what the base is going to be. We're going to learn to solve these in the next lesson. For now, we can say we've just set up a proportion. Good job.